so a lot of things were a lot of subtle things were revealed in this episode and I kind of want to go over it so the first one that kind of interested me in this episode was in the beginning when uh we were Sid was kind of telling his kind of backstory of you know how he ended up in this world so pretty much he was training his I guess taekwondo in the forest and I guess he had like kind of a mental breakdown and he just kept on banging his head on the rock saying you know yelling out magic 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 you know because he wanted that and then I guess that led him to running in front of um the truck that ultimately sent him to this world so at least we know how he got there but now we fast forward when he's you know 15 years old in this world and he ends up applying for the same school that his sister went when he was younger to this Midgard Dark Knight Academy or whatever and he attends there as you know they treat him as obviously lower class because it's an aristocrat he's not that high in nobility so they just treat him as normal and everything a little discriminatory I think I believe is the word but anyways um, as part of, you know, his, um, a penalty for a game he played, um, the consequences, you go up and you kind of confess your love to, um, the most popular girl on the campus, and I forgot her name already, but she, she's the girl with, like, white hair and, um, uh, twin tails on her hair so um I forgot her name but yeah surprisingly to his expectations he thought that she would automatically reject him because his like uh, uh, pretty much he described himself as a background character and you know he he doesn't he's not popular enough to even have a chance with her so he expected her to reject his confession of love but she ended up um she ended up I guess you'd say accepting it and you know accepting the role of being his girlfriend which surprised everyone around in the school including you know I guess him too and then we move on when they're taking fencing classes um, she she reveals that you know the reason that I do want to I did accept was because to ex- escape a uh, uh, she didn't say arranged marriage but she said to escape an engagement uh, to one of you know the instructors uh, he ends up being a fencing instructor and she explains why that you know, with a human, because she said, you know, he has no flaws, and, you know, to this said, uh, um, he obviously questioned, wouldn't that make, like, a good husband, like, a human being with no flaws, and she kind of, she kind of tells her his point, um, that, you know, a human with no flaws, they must have something, a darker secret, pretty much, and, to this, Sid replies, you know, that's kind of a negative outlook to have and a way to, you know, judge people, but, um, you know, kind of suits you because she basically wears this mask of being a high prestigious goody two shoes girl at school, but when she's along with, you know, Sid, she's this rude, nasty, you know, just a girl you wouldn't want to be around with. And to this, Sid, you know, agrees that it fits her personality. And, you know, later on, when they're going home in the, I guess, train together, they have some words. And, you know, Sid kind of gives her a, a push of, of, um, because she, all she, she reveals that she has, you know, this superior inferiority complex with her older sister who is 
pretty much to be you know, is the top student and she just doesn't like the fact that she's always going to be overshadowed by her, by her older sister and they'll just recognize her by being, she'll, she'll always be, you know, oh, she's the sister of this, of the great swords women or women, Iris, and she just, you know, hates that. And the conversation comes to an end when the the train stops for her stop and then she gets out and she just says goodbye in a very ominous way, I think. And then the next day when Sid is going to school, uh, the fencing, all the fencing instructors pretty much surround Sid because it turns out that um, the girl, she never made it to her dorm last night and all the instructors, they know that the last person she had contact was with Sid. So obviously they're gonna, you know, pull him, pull him for questionings and everything. So yeah, that was one thing that I, my theory is that probably the older sister is involved in this somehow because she is, since she is, you know, the number one fencing uh, person, uh, she might have, you know, ties with the cold of Diablo or something. I don't know, but I think the sister, the older sister, somehow related to this incident. Either she's, you know, the mind, uh, the mind, like she tells everyone what to do pretty much. Like she's the one behind the scenes. Uh, I think she'll, you know, be relevant some way. But yeah, that was it. But before I end this video, I did want to mention that we do know, well, Sid kind of told us in the beginning what happened to, you know, Alpha and that group of girls. So pretty much when they left, they said, you know, the cult of Diablo is all over, is across the world pretty much. And what they've done is they've just scattered all over the world. That's why they left Sid. And, you know, that was kind of their explanation for leaving Sid the way they did to kind of expand. And, um, I mean, yeah, that was kind of the episode. There was, like I said, there was just subtle things that they revealed, but overall... I think it was a pretty great episode. Obviously, it gets me more excited for the next episode. I'm going to keep my eye on that. And you know, I hope you guys love these reviews or these videos or whatever. But please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.